Clubs. This is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Out Tarot. Here with your weekend romance report, your real weekend romance report. If you watched part one, um, those of you, I'm probably going to label that real twin flames because that is speaking to real twins. But this is just a general what's going to happen this weekend for those of you that um, may be wanting to know, you know, what's going to happen this weekend for us. Okay? That first story is not going to resonate with everyone. Um, I'm hoping that you be, you know, mature with the information and, you know, don't just run rampant because... If it don't come to pass, then you're like, oh, Bella, you're a liar. No, I've already told you. If the symptoms don't seem right, then it's probably not the ailment, right? Okay, so we're going to do the weekend romance. Let me make sure this is in order because. And this is going to be for our, the weekend of September 20th through the 22nd. Do remember that this is special 50 weekend. Everybody gets to have special 50 weekend. Um... Unless you get an invoice canceled in the month of September, then you will not qualify. Okay? Or August. The end of August. Okay? So, let's see what's going on. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the collective for this weekend? September 20th through the 22nd. Show me what is going on this weekend for my loves. One more, guys. Here we go. All right. The Will of Fortune. So in that last reading, we definitely talked about the Vertex. So this is definitely going to come up in this reading as well. This is the Tower. <clears throat> Seven of Cups. The Emperor. One more. The Empress. I like. Under the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Page of Cups. Under the Tower is the Ten of Cups. So this is talking about family. Family. Under the Seven of Cups is the Page of Swords. Under the Emperor, we have the King of Cups. It's definitely going to involve my water signs. Under the Empress, we have the Five of Wands. All right. Overall energy is the Two of Cups. I like it. Okay. So this weekend, what happens? Well, there's definitely some family issues that's going on. All right. There could be some fights that's happening this weekend. Between you and your children, you and your family, immediate family, mother, father, things like that. <clears throat> I feel like... I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like for a lot of you, especially if you're Pisces, Scorpio, you're going to have some issues with a child. Okay? A child. One of your children. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Cups, the Tower, and the Ten of Cups. This is one of your children that interrupts your marriage or interrupts your relationship. Okay? And it could be because this kid is growing up, they're experiencing, they're getting involved in a whole bunch of different shit. Okay? putting her nose in business they ain't got no business doing you know getting involved with drugs and skipping school different things like that okay those type of issues are going to come up incarceration placements different things like that okay you've been having problems with this one child okay this one child has been reaching out for your love and attention and affection and what it says to me i'm looking at the emperor with the king of cups the um father figure in this story could also be a water sign could be cancer pisces scorpio but I feel like the woman is Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well. All right. I feel like what it is saying is that spirit is trying to tell you that you've been putting too much energy and effort into your relationship and not enough into your children. This is why this child is breaking away and fighting with you, you know, pulling on your strings. And it's really going to affect the mother. All right. Because we have the Empress with the five of wands under there. So I feel like this is those type of relationships where mother and daughter don't get along. Mother and son don't get along. That type of energy is taking place this weekend, all right? And it could be because your child is a little jealous because you don't spend enough time with them. You don't give them enough of your attention, okay? Now, I do understand that it can be very difficult to work and raise children, especially if you have more than one. And also, you know, keep a marriage, hold a marriage down, all right? But sometimes you have to realize that this is a growing child that, you know, needs you. This is a big world out here. 
and they're not ready to navigate this world on their own. And even though they may talk smart and think they know it all, we have the Page of Swords with the Seven of Cups. You know, they think that the way they're doing it is the right way. They don't want no, you know, um, rebuttals or they don't want no, you know, they don't want you to stop them. You may feel that the best way to handle the situation is to just say, walk away. Or to abandon your responsibility as a mother with this child. Believe it or not, you may think, a lot of you may think, how could you abandon your child? Well, it's possible. There's a lot of women that have teenage daughters um, or teenage sons, and they can be very disrespectful to that parent, and that parent has done everything in their power to, you know, show that child love and affection, and they're still wayward and disrespectful, and the mother has gotten tired, and she's ready to walk away. Okay. Now, what this says to me is that you're going to need more influence for the father, from the father. All right. So uh, this child, it would be best to send the child, if you're having problems with your child, to their father. All right. Just because the father figure has a lot more uh, control. You know, when they speak, a lot of times children listen. Okay. Now it could also be a situation where it's a merging family, meaning that the child that you're actually having problems with is not the father, the guy that you're with, the relationship, the man you marry is not their father. Okay. So, you know, that could be an issue too. Maybe you had extra children and you're having problems with your oldest child. Okay. Or you're having problems with your middle child, but you also have little children by this water sign or, you know, uh, something that's going on here. And this child is suffering because it, you know, the child feels like you're not giving it enough love and affection. Okay. So what it does is what the child does is go out there and get into all sorts of trouble. And it's just an attention seeking behavior. Some women don't have the patience for this because some women have five and six and fucking ten kids, you know, and it's like, listen, I don't have time to stop and stroke your ego when you're disrespecting me. I have your little brothers and sisters I have to take care of. All right. But sometimes what you can do in order to fix a situation that has already gotten out of control. And I had spoke to somebody about this because she had problems with her own child. Sometimes you're going to have to leave the family in your husband's hands and say, listen, I have to step out for a minute. I'm going to go get my daughter or my son and I'm going to go stay in a hotel for the weekend with my child and just be with my oldest child and just talk to them, you know, because they need mommy time. You know, uh, some of you that have children back to back to back. A lot of times what happens is the oldest child may be used to having their mom or their dad all to themselves. And then these little ones came along taking more of your attention and now they don't feel a connection between, you know, you and them. All right. Now, a lot of women jump defensive, you know, but but at the end of the day, listen, drop your defenses. The truth of the matter is you're going to know what type of mother you are to this child by the, re, you know, the repercussions or the rebellion that this child has given you. OK, so, you know, sometimes you just have to put everything else on hold and take this child out by themselves, you know, and just say, come on, it's mommy and daughter time, mommy and son time. Let me take you out. Let's go get some ice cream. Let's go stay in a hotel. Let's have movie night. You know, let's go shopping, you know, or just, you know, do something with that child to where they can still feel your love and affection. Let them know that you love them very much. OK, other than that, if you don't, they're going to keep being rebellious. And eventually, you're going to get a kid that's really out of control and a, and a product of the system. Okay, I say a product of the system because you'll probably have to emancipate the child or put that child in placement. Or, you know, and, and then it, it just becomes a very ugly situation. It, it can get really, really out of control. And you don't want it to get there, all right? It, it looks like it's threatened as it is. But I'm telling you the solution. Also, you can book a special 50, you know, um, invoice and come and talk to me. You know, because maybe there's some other issues that's going on. A lot of times when I look at this, I'm looking at this page of swords and what this says to me. I really don't like to discuss it, but I'm going to throw it out there because it's it's here. It could be that, you know, your new husband and, and a lot of women don't like to listen to this, but just pay attention, Linda. You better. OK, your new husband or the man that is in your life, the new man that's in your life could be. um making your child feel un uncomfortable you know there could be accusations of molestation um even rape that's going on 
if you were in a situation where you and your child was extremely close and then you got with a certain man and at the beginning your child liked that man and then a few years down the line your child no longer liked that man and they're very hateful towards you you need to come see me something's going on there okay it's not always just the kid is jealous and no sometimes there is some things that's going on i'm really trying to figure out with this page of swords being here why to why to close mouth with the child you know and then the seven of cups here I mean, there could be some things that's going on and then i just don't like the emperor with the king of cups so you know those of you that are dealing with um, men that may be alcoholics and you have older daughters i definitely you know and you're not getting along with a certain child you need to hit me up because there's a problem there there's some sort of conflict there okay and you need to face it you can't keep you know brushing it under the rug the saddest thing in the world that I see going on, and this is very, very common, is women that have been alone for a long time, and they finally meet a man, and they love the ground this man walk on, but they have an older child, and they choose their man over their children, and they have an inkling that something is wrong with their child, they have a feeling that's, you know, there could be, you know, the way he looks at her or, you know, the way he looks at my son. Because it doesn't just happen to little girls, it happens to little boys as well. You know, some men can be very twisted and fucked up mentally, okay? Um, but to take the man's side over your child is the most despicable thing you could ever do. Putting that child in an uncomfortable position where they have to, you know, I can't tell my mom what's going on because she's so wrapped around this motherfucker, she won't let him go. She won't believe me. You got to remember that the molester or the rapist is already telling your child that you better not tell your mom because your mom ain't going to believe you. I'll just make you look like a liar. So they're already intimidated. So who does that child have to talk to? There's something going on here. If you're in that position, you got those problems going on with your child. Um, definitely take a look. Some of you, you don't know. You know, you don't know because the child won't talk to you. You know, or maybe, you know, you and your husband separated and the child lives with your husband. Maybe there's something going on at the household between your child and your husband, your ex-husband or whatever. You know, but you need to get in if you're having these problems with your children. It's time to face the reality and it's time to fix the problem. Okay? All right. So that's one story. I'm going to pull one more. See. What are the additional messages you have for the collective? This is a deep weekend, y'all. I mean, seriously, like, um, we are facing some really harsh realities. Literally. You know, and it's not just, you know, earth and air signs, sun sign, you know. It, it's also earth and air risers. Because that was a water sign that popped up there, you know. And that's Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, so it could be a water sign that has a rising and ear and earth. They're all everybody is going through this vertex is big as shit and it it has caused a lot of issues. A lot of issues. Okay. One more. Last story, guys. We got the lovers. Okay. Three of swords. Okay. Temperance. The page of swords. This page of swords is coming up. Some of y'all been through so much shit that <laughs> spirit literally knocked the words out of your mouth. You, you don't even know what to say at this point, what to do. You're just totally confused. You have the ace of coins. I know what that feels like. Under the lovers, we have the chariot. Under the three of swords is the hierophant. Okay. Under temperance, we have the six of wands. Under the page of swords, we have the five of cups. All right. This is definitely connected to that first story. The return of a lover. Under the ace of coins, we have the ten of wands. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. There needs to be honesty, communication. 
okay? Um, okay, so what I feel looking at this reading, this is a divine partnership of some kind. It could be a karmic soulmate, it could be a soulmate, it could be a twin flame, you know, whatever. Now, I feel like when it comes to this relationship, it kind of seems like looking at the chariot, for some reason, I never see the chariot as a separation. I usually see, um, but it could be. I, I guess I could, especially if you guys live in two different states. It's, it's separation is what I'm looking at. It looks like uh, two divine partners that live a distance from one another. Okay. And something has happened. Something has happened. There's some sort of heartbreak, pain that needs to be overcome. All right. We have the Hierophant here. This could be due to marriage. This could also uh, be due to what is required of you from the universe. doesn't necessarily have to be marriage, but it's, it's nine times out of ten, it's what spirit is requiring from you, meaning that they are expecting you to embrace or fix this divine partnership because it's very important to learning your lessons and being able to move forward okay now looking at this chariot with this lover's card you can be dealing with a partner who is very much a control freak they want things their way they're not really up for compromise okay and Anybody that's been in a divine partnership, a karmic connection, knows that when it comes down to it, spirit is the one that's really ultimately in control of this partnership. So when you go into a partnership or a situation and you try to mold and abuse or throw your power around and try to control this thing or control another being, what happens is spirit will separate the two of you. And that's what has happened. All right? So it doesn't mean that you're done and over with. No. It means that the way that this partnership started going, meaning that you guys were already together. You came together. It was a beautiful thing. You loved one another. Okay? But as time went on, as the years started to roll around, you started noticing more and more. That either the woman was very controlling and trying to control everything that the man does, or the man was very controlling and trying to control everything that the woman does, okay? Making this situation a bittersweet sort of, you know, connection, all right? So, before the whole contract would sour out, what spirit would do is they would separate the two individuals for some time, okay? So... Right now, you're coming off of that separation. You've been separated already for some time, and word has got out that this person is coming back in town. We have the temperance with the six of wands, okay? So this person is on their way back, and when temperance hits anything, then we know that that person has taken some time out to reflect, all right? That person has set back and realized how they you know, the wrongs that they did in the marriage or the wrongs that they did in a relationship. They realized their wrongs in the relationship. Okay? But there's a problem here. What's the problem? Well, we got the Page of Swords again with the Five of Cups. So that says to me that while the one person may have worked on themselves and realized what they did wrong, the person that was controlling, abusive, um, you know, just stirring this relationship, in the wrong manner they realize what they did wrong so they're ready to fix that but the problem is the other person the person that actually feels like they got left has gotten stuck in that sense of loneliness or you left me or you did me wrong so there is some seething grief some underlining grief that is taking place in the other partner all right and they're not saying anything about it but let me tell you where that becomes a conflict your man comes back home he was very abusive he was very controlling he says to you baby I'm sorry I realize my wrongs I don't want to be without you I can't live without you we had a great thing I really want to put this thing back together deep down in your heart you're like okay yeah I do want to put it back together but you lost something in the battle okay you don't want to tell this person that I really don't fucking trust you 
because I gave you my heart one time. So I really don't trust you. Also, you know, there could also be, I'm looking at this Ten of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. There could also be some unfinished business when it comes down to speaking about something that you feel they did wrong against you. So at the end of the day, this still begins to be a controlled partnership. Even if, even after spirit separated you for a while and worked on one of you, the other one, instead of being worked on, instead of looking at the situation like, okay, this is the time that I can get myself together in case this partner come back, you may have been a little nosy, you know? Like when your man leaves, now you're looking at his social media, seeing if he's talking to some other girls and, you know, hearing the rumors that's going on outside. And this is causing uh, a sort of disconnect inside of you, like an anger. It takes one to know one because I know about this. This is what happened between me and King. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't look through his social media or anything like that, but when this, when this process happened between me and King... The separation. During the separation, something happened. There's an anger that boiled up inside of me. Um, and I'm still dealing with it today. It, it's almost as if, like, he's tainted in my eyes. You know, like, um, I no longer can trust him because he comes off as a fucking coward or a pussy to me now. You know? So... If he was to come back and say, you know, I realized what I went wrong. I still love you. I really want to be with you. And I was to take him back. It would never be the same. Because under the surface is that seething resentment. You know, like, I don't fucking... Tr bitch, you left me before. Okay? You left me before. It's only a matter of time before you leave me again. So it's kind of like... The hope is gone. I hope you guys get this because I'm trying to really, really break it down to your emotional standpoint of where you are. Okay? And, and so many people do this. So many people accept their partners back because they say they worked on themselves, but they never consider what the fuck do I feel. Their emotions get swept under the rug. Okay? Creating... A boiling pot. A slow boiling pot. Okay? Because you don't feel heard. You don't feel able to express what you're feeling. You don't trust this person. You're sitting back. It's like you're accepting them back, but you're sitting there waiting. I know it's only a matter of time before you fuck up again. You haven't forgiven this person. You know how they say... I'll forgive you, but I'll never forget. That's bullshit, okay? That's not forgiveness at all. Part of forgiving is being able to forget, okay? So this is one of those situations. I guess that's the best way to say it. Like, you forgave them, according to you, but you never forgot. That's a problem. Because deep down inside, what's starting to happen is a, is a hate. It's like a canker sore, you know, a canker worm or... A leech. Anything that will barrel itself into your skin. You take this person back. You have this, this content in your heart. You don't trust them. They broke you. You weren't able to discuss it. You weren't able to talk about it. So what starts to happen is this person is back in your life. You're starting to get turned the fuck off. You no longer want to give oral sex. You no longer want to kiss in the mouth. The sex life starts to go to shit. You're sleeping in separate beds. Why does this happen? Because you don't have no ground for honesty. You cannot be honest and have that communication about how you're feeling. They broke you. They broke you in such a way that it can't be repaired. I can't tell you how many people will lose their relationship. And cry their ass off for a person they don't even like anymore. You know? They'll cry. God, you took my husband away. You took my boyfriend away. Can you bring my girlfriend back? I miss him. And you don't even like that person. Because they hurt you. To the core. And, and, and. 
that area has never been dug up. You're too busy accusing the universe of the reason as to why your relationship fell apart. And you're not letting them work out that canker sore inside of you. So as time goes on, it burrows itself in your heart. And you begin to build these walls up, locking yourself out, locking this person out, even though you accepted them back in your life. Okay? So what that would look like in a physical way is you accept your man back after he cheated on you, but you accuse him all the time. Every time he walk out the door, you're still accusing him of cheating. Yeah, but you remember what you did. That's that, I forgive you, but I never forget shit, okay? You never forgive him at all. Okay? So, this has everything to do with a choice. This is a choice. When I talked about in the first video, at the very beginning, when I said, a lot of you are going to be faced with a decision. Do I take back something that I know is downright not good for me? Just so that I don't have to be alone? Or is it time for me to let this person go because I realize that there is deep seething resentment and the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to treat this person bad or I'm going to want to get this person back for what they've done to me. And that's not right. Okay? So, I've already been faced with my choice on whether I want a king back or not. I know it's going to come around to you, especially if you are earth or air sign and you're in this vertex. It's going to come back to you. It's going to be asked, do you want this person back in your life? Now, those of you that ain't used to being alone, you're going to fall. Absolutely, I want this person back in my life, even though I don't even like them. Well, there's the beauty in being single for so long because it has taught me to not settle for something that doesn't feel comfortable. All right? So if I don't feel comfortable with a particular individual, you got to go. Get the fuck up out of here. I'll wait for the next round to go around. You know, I'll wait for the next person to come in. That's a decision I had to make because I realized that uh, and there's deep seething resentment. So, you know, even though, of course, I don't want to be alone, I want to put my relationship back to where it was, it's just been too much time that we spent apart. There's too much shit that you kept doing. Every time I forgave you, you kept doing something else. So now I do not trust you. And there's no way I'm going to sit here while you lay in my bed and look at you with a look of disgust on my face, angry as fuck, waiting on you to take your last breath. Because <laughs> some of us bitches is crazy, you know. You, you'll do that. You'll accept that person back knowing you, ooh, I cannot stand you. Why did you, you know, like, why did I let you back? I don't even know why I let you back, especially when you let them back. And they say they learn. And then they begin to trigger you, meaning that they do that same thing that really got under your skin. And then now you're sitting there and you're hateful as hell because it's like, oh, I should have kept your ass out my fucking house. I knew you ain't changed. But you were already feeling like they weren't going to change anyway. And remember, whatever a man think of, so be it. Meaning that whatever you're thinking about is going to physically manifest. So if you're thinking that this person is never going to change, eventually they're not going to change. You see? So you never really gave this person a chance at all. So there's no such thing as, I'm going to forgive you, but I'll never forget. No. If you're going to forgive a person, you let everything go. All the remnants. I'm going to forgive you and I'm going to forget. I love you guys. I do. I wish I could stay here a little longer, but I can't. Okay? Listen, take advantage of Special 50. I gave you three amazing readings for this weekend. Eat your heart out on them. Okay? Book your personal reading. All right? Um, even if you don't want to use it this weekend, you know, if you don't want to use it, reserve it for yourself. Okay? So, go ahead. Pay your invoice. You can use it for next month. You can use it whenever you want. All right? But people usually hop on it because it's not often that I run a Special 50 unless it's your birthday month. Okay, so definitely take advantage of that. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Definitely share the video across all your social media. Help me to grow. Let me know that you support me. Okay, and I'm going to keep fighting. Until next time, thank you so much, loves.